installing a Verticasa module directly to the customer premises and top-level module extraction. Welcome to the video tutorial on Prismium's Verticasa system. This video will detail on how to install a fiber module straight to the customer premise. The modules will be released from the storage box at the top of the riser. A breakout box will be installed over the pre-scalloped window. A drop tube will be pulled to the termination box in the customer premises. The module will be run from the riser to the customer premises. A termination box will be installed in the customer premises on a DIN rail for splicing. Installing a breakout unit and top-level module extraction. Place a breakout unit over the window in the sheath, centering the window in the breakout unit. Tighten the cable ties to secure the breakout unit to the cable. Unscrew the four screws of the Verticasa riser storage box and remove the lid. Release the modules from the storage loop. Using the sheath scallop piece, extract the desired module or modules. Once the modules are extracted, loop the remaining modules away and close storage box lid. Installing a Verticasa drop tube. Mark about 100 mm from the butt end of the tube. Circular cut the sheath and break off the sheath section. Tape the rope to the tube to keep it in place while installing the drop tube. To pull a module through the tube using the pulling rope, open the rope so the module can be inserted in the centre. Insert the module into the rope. Place a crimp over the rope and slide it along to the module section. Crimp the rope and module together. Now the elements are connected and can be pulled through the drop tube. When running from the riser to the premise, Fit the tube into the breakout unit and run the tube to the customer premises. If using the pull rope within the drop tube, strip a section of the sheath first so the pull rope can be crimped to the module later. The drop tube can be crimped to a draw rope within a duct and pulled to the customer premises as previously described. Installing a customer termination box Mark II. At the customer premise, mount the termination box backplate. The Mark II CTB backplate can be mounted directly onto a DIN rail by pushing or sliding it on. Place the box onto the backplate without clicking it in. Determine which side of the box the drop tube should enter. Measure the drop tube to length and cut. If using the internal pull rope, ring cut the sheath and cut the rope at a longer length so it can be used to pull the module. Remove the chosen blanking tab from the box. To mount the Mark II CTBs onto a DIN rail, the small side blanking tabs also need to be removed from the box. Pull the Verticasa module from the riser to the termination box using the draw rope or push the module over short distances. Once the module has reached the other side, the drop tube will need to be secured at the termination box. Push the tube into the moulded position on the back of the box, ensure it is secured under all the tabs. Feed the module towards the front of the box through the entry area. Be careful not to bend the module during this process.
Secure the Mark II box by locating the four pins on the back plate, pushing them into the corresponding locking positions on the termination box. For instructions on how to secure the Mark III box, refer to Section 7. Bring the module to the splice tray by feeding it between the hinge and tray. Follow the fibre guides to loop the module onto the tray for future splicing. Push the lid onto the box and secure by fixing the screw.